Hey y'all, Steve here with Adventure Outdoors. You know, this day was going to be a special day of red fishing. I get to go fishing with Steve Moore of Kayak Hacks Fishing, and I am obviously jacked up about it. Hey y'all, Steve here, and I'm on a road trip. Yeah, that's right, I'm on a road trip. I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina, going to see my buddy Steve Moore. Steve runs Kayak Hacks Fishing Channel on YouTube. So, I get to fish with a bona fide YouTube celebrity today. I can't wait. He has promised to put me on the fish. Now, we're going kayak fishing for redfish, and it's up to me to put him on a fish. I am in a panic. And I have promised that if he doesn't, Man, I'm going to make a real bad video about him, so... I got to put Steve on a fish. I can't believe the video he's going to put up if he comes back skunked tomorrow. The pressure is on, but he said he was going to bring his A game. Weather is sucking right now. So this thing is 50-50. I'm seeing some lightning, and uh, I just don't know if this is going to happen, but let's hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Steve warned me about Wilmington traffic and he is correct. We're bumper to bumper, rush hour. Right there is the famous Steve Moore from Kayak Hacks Fishing in front of me. We got some really bad weather all around us. We're trying to decide what to do. So we're gonna go hang out at his house for just a little while and make a decision. Crap, just crap. Did y'all think this was a fishing video? <laughs> Where's the fish? <laughs> you know, at first, Steve's enthusiasm for all this rain coming down and the fact that it looked like we might get canceled, I thought it was an act. I thought he was faking it. But as the day wore on, I'm not so sure it was an act. I don't know if this guy was up doing an Indian rain dance or whatever because I put too much pressure on him for him to put me on some redfish. Well, I was in a panic that Steve was going to come visit and the pressure of getting him on a fish was insurmountable today. So all last night, I prayed for an excuse of how we could get skunked. And here's how the good Lord answered. There's water all over the place. There's lightning gone all over the place. I didn't want this. We could have gone to the beach and been skunked down there trying for the bull red. I just didn't want to have to take him to my top secret spot on the Redfish Highway. And Steve, you're gonna have to wait for another day and another trip. Here's where things started getting really weird. Now, I don't know if Steve was, I have no idea. But he says, hey, the day's not going to be a total waste. We can still go fishing in the back of my truck. From here on out, the day just basically went downhill. Steve, I don't know what you're complaining about. We got fish here. I got them in this hole for you. And there's another spot over there just for you. I'm not going to fish that spot. We can both hit this one. This is not what I had in mind, Steve. Hey, it's fish. Gosh. This, and I got the right kind of Panther Martin on here. It's the uh, silver, which is good for a cloudy day, as opposed to the black and gold for a sunny day. Look at that thing. These fish are going to go for this. Come on, fishies. Come on, fishies. This ain't fishing, Steve. You got a single bite yet. That Panther Martin works pretty good on trout. At this point, I'm literally just trying to save the day. I asked Steve, I said, hey, why don't we just make a video out in your shop since I'm here? You would have thought I'd asked him to pull one of his teeth. I didn't know if he was even going to show me his precious little shop that he shows the world on YouTube, but I finally convinced him, so we go into his secret 
shop, you know, at a secret location, and he agrees to make a few video clips with me in there. Oh, I felt so privileged. Well, hey, y'all, since we can't fish today, Steve has invited me to his top secret shop. We're at an undisclosed location, and he's given me a tour of his shop, and y'all have seen a lot of the stuff in his videos. But I thought I would, uh, I didn't want to leave without making a video, okay? So I'm gonna ask Steve some questions about himself while basically he's my captive. Well, there he is right there, probably on some project. Hey, Steve, uh, would you be willing to ask, answer some questions sure. to my viewers? Sure, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I'd gotten rid of you already and you left. You well, uh, I uh, GPSed your location and I came back. <laughs> but anyway, how good of a fisherman are you? Well, there's, there are two perspectives on that. If you're my son, he gave me this sign right here that declares that I am the world's best angler. But an independent, independent review panel of the Cape Fear fly fishers have decided that instead, I'm the rookie of the year back in 2014. So the bottom line is I've got to be inventive to try and figure out how to catch fish. And that's where a lot of these kayak hacks and fishing tips come from. Because if I'm not tricking them, I'm not gonna catch them. Steve, I know you're always working on some kind of new kayak hack. Do you have any projects that you can share with the viewers? Sure. Uh, in fact, I'm working on a project right now that picks up from, I lost my phone. Folks, just to let you know, we don't rehearse. This is real world stuff here. So, you remember the video I posted earlier where I wanted to see how good uh, Procure was. And so I just took a green scouring pad and put Procure on it with a hook, and I actually caught a fish. I caught that decent sized lizard fish. So that inspired me to think, is our scouring pads a cheap alternative to buying stuff in tackle shops. So I went to the dollar store and you can get all these different colors of scouring pads, a lifetime supply for a buck. And since I'm not a, a seamstress, I just used a stapler and I stapled different colors together on top of a hook, put a little weight in there. And one of the mods I'm working on right now is to put one of these glass rattles in the bottom. So I'm gonna douse this sucker in Procure and we're gonna see if that's gonna catch me a redfish. Could be another trip where I get skunked and will deserve that rookie of the year plaque from my fly fishing club. I know Steve is disappointed we couldn't go fishing today, but you know, that's the way it goes. Steve, what do you think about our day of non-fishing? Well, first of all, the, the bait and switch of going from Beach fishing to kayak fishing was a shocker, as you saw earlier. But the real thing I was upset about is I've never caught a redfish off the beach. And so I wasn't gonna bring my normal measuring utensil that only goes out to 12 feet, but in the presence of experts, I was gonna go up to 25, because I knew we would be able to get something that would merit this amount of length. So basically you're saying you just needed a longer tape measure? That's what she said. Oh, come on, you stole my line. <laughs> so about this time, Steve disappears for a few minutes, okay? You know, I don't know if he was going back inside to <laughs> I have no idea, but he came back to the shop in a very bad mood, like some kind of angry alpha male, and he was very accusatory towards me when he came back in the shop. Hey Steve, what the heck are you doing in here? You stealing all my secrets? Yeah, I'm just borrowing some tools, that's all Steve. Calm down, dude. Hey, that's what Harbor Freight's for. Jeez, man. Just back off. And then he catches me marking a waypoint on my iPhone GPS because basically I was going to tell the world the location of his secret shop. This is where things really freaked me out. It got physical. 
Hey, what are you doing, Steve? Hey, I'm just uh, marking the location of your secret what? shop, buddy. What? You already got me to confess to one whoa, secret. Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna tell people. Get out of here. Come on, man. Hey, Steve. I'll see you later, man. And by the way, fishing with you sucks. Well, it sucked with you, too. It you sucked. jigs me. Oh, man. Get that out of here. You made it rain. Oh. No fish. At this point, I just got the hell out of there. I really don't know what I did to trigger him, but he went off on me, and I just went and pulled off the side of the road, and, you know, it was really, it was very upsetting to me, you know? And then all of a sudden, my phone rang, and I looked, and it was Steve. I hesitated answering it, but, like, I answered, and, like, I immediately apologized, and he apologized at the same It was like, hey, man, I'm sorry, hey, man, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, you know, it was like, it's like, man, it's like, man, we're, we're back together. We're back together. All was forgiven. He asked if I wanted to go to lunch. I said, only if I pay. You know, when we got to the little diner to grab a burger and a beer, you know, you can see my enthusiasm. I'm literally jumping in the rain. We had a great lunch. You know, Steve actually paid. Thanks a lot, Steve. But, you know, we're back together. We're friends, all is forgiven, and we're going to schedule another trip in the future. All right, so I hope all of you tune in, and there's going to be links to Steve-O's channel. You know, if you're not subscribed, haven't seen any of his videos, well, shame on you. Go there right now after this video. He's got a ton of awesome videos, okay? I'll see all of you in the next video.